you guys are okay otherwise, though? I mean, okay. Well, lucky. Yeah. Better than others, right? People inside us. Yeah. All right, man. What's your last name? Yeah, I think I, I don't know, dude. <laughs> our, our car's been fucked all night. We were where they were, so. Okay. So, we're going to try and take some pictures. Completely up to you guys. It might be better than you now. It's fresh. Understand well. We kind of get what you're going through. We were at the intersection, so we're just glad you guys got out. Okay. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Okay. You're just going to stand right here. We're going to shine a light over on you. I'm going to take a picture of you in general, and then any injuries you have. Okay. And then you guys can take care of the report end tomorrow. So we're going to do it today. Oh, you're going to do it today? Okay. Sorry, I thought you said tomorrow. We're going to leave tomorrow. We're going back home. If we can. If you can just take one step to your left. Thank you. Okay, and where do you have injuries, man? Just right there? Okay, can you just brush your hair back for me? There you go, thank you. What the knee is because we have to jump over the... Okay, thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it. Injury being from she also hurt her knee when she jumped over. That kind of that's, that's not okay. what you're looking for. You're looking for guns. Okay. Yeah, yeah just stuff yeah. like stuff that. He said injury. I'm telling you. Yeah. Oh no, we can't appreciate injuries. All right, same thing. Just stand over here, out of the shadow, please. There we go. All right, if you can just pull that sleeve up for me. There you go. Alright, and you had just a little bit on your face. We appreciate the call in though, this helps. Even though it might not seem, you know, super important or anything. But we have a lot of you guys that we were just trying to get out at the time, and now it's kind of like, hey, we need to talk to some people. Alright, anything else? Is any of the blood on your, uh, is that from? It's not like a hole, right? That's just scratch. It looked like a cut from the beginning. Okay. 
when it's bruised, like it feels tender. Like I think it's probably going to be jealous. Okay. Um, I'll take a picture of that one just in case. Because yeah. that. So just go ahead and pop that leg up. There we go. Okay, so here would be my suggestion to you, okay? Just because they were firing from so far and the bolts might have started to slow down a little bit. When you get back to wherever or sooner, I would just go get that and make sure it gets x rayed, okay? Because on the off chance that there's a bullet floating around in there, you don't want that in there. Exactly. Just because of lead and all this other stuff, okay? I mean, just. Right now, yeah. Hospitals are probably a little packed close to the strip, so Sunrise, UMC, stuff like that is going to be packed. What's over here, I'm not quite sure because I don't work this area normally. I work at the station that's right next to where all this happens. So. Oh, we have officers and security crawling everywhere right now for secondary stuff like that. We well, live in California, so. but we're, but when we're talking long-range rifles out of a hotel, I mean that's not something you can handgun a handgun all you want. It's not going to reach 300 how, yards. How can he? I mean the glass on the metal is like how does it shoot out of that kind of? You shatter it. You shatter the glass, and then once the glass is shattered, you have unlimited access. But um, yeah, just keep. Update on the news, like I said, I would just go get that checked out because you do have quite a bit yeah, of blood we underneath. Yeah, I just didn't want to go and okay. make a big panic because it's been how long Nope, already. understandable. I'm fine. I'm not gonna and he's going to have some paperwork for you guys. That's okay, we got yeah. extra ones that are going to come check out. I just don't want you, you know, you get some kind of like a crazy infection. Blood in there. Can you kind of lead poisoning or anything like that? All right, our end's good. We got the pictures. We're just going to upload them real quick. Okay. So for the most part, besides tonight, are you enjoying Enterprise? Or? Yeah, no, Enterprise has been good to me, man. I know that you're kind of wanting to go back over to Bolden right away, but... No, no, I don't want to go back to Bolden. Not anymore? <laughs> you know, I, I was thinking I wanted to go back until I left. If I never go back to Bolden the rest of my career, I'll be happy. Fair enough. Until that whole regime over there gets wiped out and cleaned up and changed, I want nothing to do with it. So a lot of guys over there are staying, even on graveyard, so... Like, I just... I know that I'm... Now that I'm in the position I'm in, if I go back over and work with the guys who... You're going to lose your shit? Head, yeah, we're going to butt heads. Because I'm not going to sit back and be belittled every night. Did you get called in for this, or? Well, let me put it to you this way. I was at home, and I told my squad to be on standby. I came in, because I lived like five minutes away, and I was going to go to the store and just start getting food and supplies for everybody. And then the LP walks in, and he's like, here's your hair. He's like, man, I really need help. I said, I don't know if you want to. He's like, I can't sit home with you. Yeah. I mean, that's why they kicked us we over. We did, and we didn't get called in. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I mean, everyone, whether you were called in or not, has come in more or less at this point. Because they all know shit's at the fan. I mean, that's why they stuck us over here, though. Because we went to check in at RCP after all of our shit, and they're like, okay, you guys can go take calls now. You guys have seen your shit for a night. You're good. <laughs> have a good night. Because when the call came, I don't know if he told you, but when the call came out, we were sitting in briefing. Yep, I heard. So. I heard. Kind of parked in a really shitty spot, but. They don't think they want to go, they just need to be checked out. Okay. So. Right down the middle of the stage, right. they have all their things. And there's like right to the left. 
You guys all made it out though, so. And we parked in the intersection right on the other side of the festival, and that was kind of a really, really bad spot to park. And my car's still over Well, we've always talked that eventually it was something was going to happen, but. Which name, sir? Copy. And the correct address is 7165. Control one stand thirteen, I'll code four, ATL the area, female is H. Control 175, Panel 147 is going to be transporting. Goodness. Oh, well. Shit. Dude, he should be lucky that he's fucking standing. Yeah, and I'll reference, cross-reference event. 
So, snack and bathroom and gas after yeah. this. Yeah. Upload to Yonk. Two victims. They met the two victims. Can you hear me on that female in the Is there at the Sharon and the Martin Trail? Okay, good yeah. people. Look at that. Yeah. Well, they're all they're all cops out of uh, California. It wasn't his buddy who was fucking. No, no, they, they asked me their right, name. Yeah, who it was. I'm like, dude, we don't, all we know is it's, it's one California dude in Boston. Uh, yeah, they're all. They're all I was like, like, I was like, go with shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, goddamn small world all of a sudden. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing there were probably quite a few off duty cops there. Control, who are you trying to raise?
Patrol with Sam 13. We're code 4. Female is being a little bit uncompliant, but she's still walking. Camera off. 